Do you need a vacation? If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, you probably need a good vacation more than you think. And in this lesson, we're gonna look at why that's important, but we're also gonna have a little fun and take a virtual tour of my home country, the USA. You ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina, and welcome to Business English with Christina, where you become better at business by becoming better at English. First of all, let's talk about why you and I both need a good vacation, and at the same time, you're gonna learn some very useful business English expressions. The first thing is, if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, if you're like me, you probably have a lot on your mind. Like you're always thinking about how to get new clients, how to manage your team, how to do things better, how to be more productive, how to get things done in the time you have, etc. It's a lot for your brain. Going on a vacation is the time to recharge your batteries. You know, you're working a lot and so if you use all of your energy and you never recharge, it's like a battery. It's like, well, you, no, uh, a battery goes dead. You won't go dead, um, but you'll just like, not have any energy and so you need to really take that time for yourself and away from work so that you can unlock your creativity and just think about things in a different way that you can't when you're sitting in front of the computer all day and being in a new place it can help you to get a different perspective on things, to, to think differently, to see things in a different way that you don't do when you're in that same setting like your office or your like your home office uh, or your co-working space, you know, if you're in the same environment every day. And it can even help your business grow. Now, maybe not in terms of like, you know, more clients, but it can help your team to grow and to mature because they're going to have to take more responsibilities while you're away on vacation. Now, of course, it's important that your team takes vacation also, but again, that can help you to grow as a team and to learn to organize things like that. Now, did you catch all of those expressions that are super useful for you know business owners and entrepreneurs? They were highlighted on the screen, but if you want to test yourself to learn those expressions better, head over to my blog and in the blog article this week, you've got a quiz and just some fun stuff to help you remember that vocabulary better. Okay, so let's assume that you've decided to do the right thing, to take a vacation, and you've also decided to make it special. You're going to go to the USA and visit lots of places. Now, where could you go? I mean, you can go anywhere, literally. There's tons of places to visit, but let's play a little quiz game. I'm going to describe some famous places in the US and you'll see some images as well and see if you can guess the place where we are virtually visiting. Now, I know that a lot of people dream of taking this legendary road trip across the United States. Like my parents did it actually. I'm very proud of them uh, for, for doing this because they're not the, no, they, they are, they are the adventurous people now, um, now that they're retired. But anyway, um, here's a famous road trip that you can take and you could start in Chicago. You can go, 2,400 miles and go from Chicago all the way to Santa Monica in California. You're going to cross eight states, get just so many changes of scenery. And can you guess what this famous road trip is? Did you guess it? Yeah, that's it. It's Route 66, the famous Route 66 that runs from Chicago in Illinois all the way to Santa Monica, California. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you Now, maybe you're interested in seeing some like wide open spaces with 
you know, no houses, almost no civilization, but, you know, incredible views. And you want to see things like the deserts and the rock formations. And maybe you'd also like to do a little hiking or biking or mountain climbing or kayaking or rafting or any of those outdoor sports. Because in this region, you'll have just like a massive choice of um, mountain trails, rivers, a very big river, um, and the largest man-made lake in the United States. So what region were we touring there? Yeah, did you guess it? It's the Western states. So places like Arizona, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, all of that region where you can find, you know, a lot of very popular national parks in the U.S. like, you know, Yellowstone, Yosemite, uh, Bryce Canyon, Arches, Zion Park, all of, you know, those very famous, very typically American landscapes. Okay, here's another fun destination, but we're changing scenery completely. We're gonna head over to the east coast of the United States to a big city where I think definitely you do not want to drive in this city, but that's okay because there's a subway system. I don't know if it's a good subway system, but there is a subway system. And of course, in this city, you can visit some world-class museums. You can catch some plays, musicals, live shows, lots of cultural events going on here. Now, this city, we have a couple of nicknames for it. We call it, you know, the city that never sleeps or the Big Apple. So maybe you know that one. And if you're not quite sure yet, it's the city where you can visit the Statue of Liberty. Okay, now I'm sure you probably guessed that this city is, of course, New York, New York, New York City. Now, remember, if you want to change your English and grow your business, you're going to need to do more than just watch a video on YouTube. Like, start here, but don't stop here. Go over to my blog and check out the quiz and the practice exercises that I've got for you so that you can continue learning and make sure that you remember the vocabulary from this video. Oh, and don't forget to take a vacation. And of course, as I always say, if you don't use it, you lose it. So here's something that you can um, put in the comments to use your English. Tell me if you could travel to anywhere in the United States, where would you choose to travel? It can be somewhere from this video, but of course it doesn't have to be. I would love to hear about your travel dreams down in the comments below. And if this lesson was helpful for you, I would love to know, and there are three ways that you can tell me. The first thing is to give this video a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue making fun business English lessons for you. Second thing, like I said, go over to the blog, check out the quiz that's there, and subscribe to my newsletter so that I can send you these lessons and some extra resources every week. And the third thing that you can do is continue learning with me. Watch this next lesson, which is going to help you to prepare for your vacation in the US or anywhere really, all about how to check into a hotel in English. Okay, thank you so much for improving your English, your business, and yourself with Business English with Christina, and happy trails to you.